Okay, today I'm going to do some bowls with uh, lots of uh, texture on the outside. Like chattering texture. This bowl. This bowl. And this bowl. So, my choices for showing the texture are sometimes when you choose your glaze, you have to choose the glaze that uh, if you have a lot of a texture, you want to choose, uh, choose the glaze that can show thick and thin effect. Uh, some of the glazes like Saladang, Temoku, and some other glazes that uh, you have to do some experiment. But uh, generally speaking, the, the uh, Saladang and Temoku will show the uh, thick and thin effect. So that is very good uh, a choice for showing your texture. And uh, since my bowl is very thin, so usually I don't glaze my uh, my bowl uh, both side, both inside and outside at the same time. I usually uh, glaze one side and let it dry, and then uh, later uh, after the uh, outside dried, and then I can glaze inside. It's uh, some of the choice that I sometimes glaze inside first, sometimes I glaze outside first, depending on what kind of uh, overlap I wanted to. And since the uh, Saladang glaze is not a running glaze, so I'm going to glaze it very, very thick on the outside. So I'm going to put it in uh, this bucket of glaze for more than maybe 10 seconds. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And uh, it's a very nice clean cut because I trim my foot a little bit taller and also I cut a little bit indent here so the glaze stop right there. Second one. And the third one, the large one. Okay, for glazing the bottom, a little 
tip for you. You can get uh, this kind of a bubble sucker very easy. And get some glaze inside. And just pull enough amount on your foot. So that's how I glaze my ins uh, inside of my foot. So now I'm ready to glaze the inside of my bowl. And uh, normally this at least take about two hours to three hours to dry. Sometimes I wait here, wait till it overnight. So. It's completely dry, but uh, uh, since I'm shooting the video, so I use the torch to dry a little bit faster. So, but before I put the uh, glaze inside, I usually uh, like to remove the uh, little bit thicker, that is the buildup on the rim, the uh, thicker glaze here, because once I put in this spot here, it will be a little bit too thick and. Uh, for the, the same glaze that doesn't look uh, very good so I can use either uh, this metal rib or the knife to just remove the uh, glaze here So that I don't have a very thick list that is a double thickness here, which sometimes doesn't look very good. Well done. Also, uh, before I pour the glaze in, uh, I will fill, fill up my glaze up to the rim. And uh, when I pour out, the glaze might drip over. So, to pre prevent that, I uh, usually put a coat of uh, wax resist on the rim and maybe a little bit on the side.
it's a very uh, special uh, wax that I, it dry instantly, like uh, within one minute. Okay, all done. Okay, now I'm ready to pour in the glaze. I usually fill in to the very top. It's very hard for you to see. But, uh, and then I pour it out. So that's me inside. Again, very really, uh, steady hand to hold it, so the glaze is on the very top level. Okay. And then when you pull it out, you don't pull out a bit faster. And don't stop right in the middle, so you pull it out and then you just go like stay on the low end so that the, the place is not going to trip over the side of uh, your, your ball. Okay. Larger one. <coughs>
So you can see that when I pull out, I don't have a trip here. So what I'm doing is use the wax resist to throw some pattern inside of my ball. And later I'm gonna pull different clays. In this case I'm gonna pull the uh, couple red. So now I'm gonna pull the uh, couple red glaze. Because my wax is not completely dry, so the pattern wasn't that good looking. But uh, I will show you after fire because this copper glaze is very running glaze, so after fire, you won't see the pattern anymore. It just uh, fused all together, and you will, have, you will see some kind of a line going, lots of lines going on inside of this ball.
Okay, the sun has come out and so does my pieces. Uh, I did a demonstration on pleasing the outside and inside. Um, these three pieces was uh, from the d demonstration. Okay, and, uh, let me bring it closer. Uh, I show you the uh, celadon. I put the uh, celadon on the outside and also on the inside and, uh, and I told you that I have a lot of uh, uh, chatter mark so uh, I choose the glaze that will show the uh, thick and thin effect and uh, the Saturn is a very good uh, thick and thin glaze effect so it shows the texture as you can see in here and uh, also the inside, I show you. I uh, put the wax to draw some patterns, and I told you that if the fire, that the glaze will fuse down together, and uh, this is the uh, result of the inside. Uh, this little bowl. Um, also on this one, the uh, chatter mark, different kind of a chatter mark. And also, uh, I would expect a little bit more going on on the inside, but uh, the temperature is a little bit low, so uh, it doesn't fuse all together. Uh, later, I will show you my other one that has a very uh, interesting patterns. And uh, the uh, salad and color come out very nice. And this is the uh, large bowl that I did it in my previous demonstration. Um, let me bring closer so that you can see the uh, chatter mark, all the chatter marks. Um, this is the inside. And again, the, the glaze is now fusing. The temperature is a bit low because it's on the very top shelf of, of the kiln, so it wasn't uh, fusing uh, very very good so yes, you can still see the, that my drawing mark drawing patterns okay um, this one uh, I was talking about I was expecting something like this a lot of things are going on here and, uh, the, the uh, uh, wax resist and then all the glaze fusing together right in the middle and it's very beautiful and this one wasn't in my uh, glazing demonstration, but uh, yeah, to just show you and, uh, what uh, you can do to And this is the uh, other uh, red iron oxide wash here to show the chatter pattern. Okay, and uh, this one, I was expecting more of this going on in the middle because all the uh, drawing pattern is gone. Um, you still see some of it, but uh, it's not my original drawing pattern. Um, uh, this is a very uh, nice um, uh, purple and blue color inside of the bowl. Um, uh, also, this one, you can see the uh, cheddar mark. Um, you can see that a uh, nice uh, clean cut here and a nice clean cut here for the rim okay so just uh, when you are glazing taking your time to do it and uh, you will have a better effect and a better result just don't rush, rush thing and uh, wait till the glaze uh, completely tried and uh, do the next step okay thanks for watching